Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video. My name is Mohammed and I'm a Solutions Architect in AWS. Today, I'm going to explain the new integration between the VTL Storage Gateway and the Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive Storage class. The agenda of today is that we are going to create a new virtual tape on the gateway in Deep Archive pool which will store the tape in Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive Storage class. And then afterwards, we're going to import the tape into the backup application. And then we're going to do a sample backup job on this tape that we imported. And then we are going to archive the tape and then retrieve the tape. Tape Gateway is now integrated with Amazon S3 Glacier Deep Archive Storage class. S3 Glacier Deep Archive is a new S3 storage class that provides secure, durable object storage for long-term data retention and digital preservation. I will refer to S3 Glacier Deep Archive as Deep Archive in this demo. With this integration, you can store virtual tapes in this lowest cost Amazon S3 storage class, reducing the monthly cost to store your long-term data in the cloud by up to 75%. With this feature, Tape Gateway supports archiving your new virtual tapes directly to Glacier and Deep Archive, helping you meet your backup, archive, and recovery requirements. Compared to warehousing physical tapes off-site, with AWS you get 11 nines of data durability, fixity checks by AWS on a regular basis, data encryption, write data when you restore, and cost savings when storing virtual tapes in AWS using Tape Gateway with Deep Archive. All right, so let's get started. We are now at the AWS console in the North Virginia region. And as you can see, I created a storage gateway called My Storage Gateway. So in this demo, I created this storage gateway on an EC2 instance using the recommended memory and CPU sizing as provided by the AWS documentation. But there are multiple options where you can create the storage gateway on. So you can create the storage gateway on VMware, Hyper-V, and hardware appliance. And then if you are going to create, let's say the storage gateway on VMware or Hyper-V, you need to provide local disks for your VM. So first you create the VM with the recommended memory sizing per the AWS documentation, and then you would give it the recommended CPU, and then you would align for it one disk for cache and one disk for upload buffer. So now let's start by creating this tape that we are going to use for the backup operation. So here I go to tapes tab, and then afterwards create a tape. So here I would choose my storage gateway, number of tapes one, and then let's say I would give it 150 gigabytes. And then for the barcode, let's say test. And then we're coming to the pool. Now we have two options. So either choose the standard Glacier pool or the new deep archive pool. Choose the Glacier pool if you want to archive the tape in Glacier. When your backup software ejects the tape, it is automatically archived in Glacier Use Glacier for more active archives where you can retrieve the tapes in three to five hours. And then you would choose the Deep Archive pool if you want to archive the tape in Deep Archive. When your backup software ejects the tape, the tape is automatically archived in the Deep Archive. Use Deep Archive for long-term data retention and digital preservation, where data is accessed once or twice a year. You can retrieve tapes archived in Deep Archive pool within 12 hours. So here I'm going to choose Deep Archive pool and then create tapes. And then it's going to be in the creating phase and then available. Right now, let's go to my Windows client where I have my backup application on and see how can I perform a backup operation on this tape. The AWS Storage Gateway documentation shows how you can connect your Windows client to the AWS Storage Gateway, and it also 
it shows you how you can test your backup application with the tape gateway. The list of supported backup applications are listed here in the documentation as you can see. And in this demo, I'm using Veritas Backup Exec as my backup application. So for example, if we go here, you'll see the versions of Veritas Backup Exec that is supported. And then you would see step by step how to test your backup application with the storage gateway. So let's go now to the Windows client, which I already have my backup application installed on and the storage gateway connected to, and see how we can do the backup operation on the tape that we created. So I'm going to go here. And then, as you can see, this is backup exec and it's already opened. So what did I do is that I connected the storage gateway using the iSCSI initiator portal. So I went here and I went to the discovery tab and I put down the public IP of the storage gateway. And then afterwards, you would see targets that the storage gateway provides. The storage gateway provides 11 iSCSI targets, one as the media changer and 10 tape drives. I connected these targets and then afterwards, I followed the documentation of AWS to see how can I connect or uh, make these targets reflect in the AWS, uh, sorry, to make these targets reflect in the backup application. And then afterwards, I saw my robotic library here using uh, or having 10 tape drives and one media changer. So now, Let's import our tape and do the backup operation. So I'm going to go to the slots and I'm going to right click on one of the slots, click import, import media now. Then a message is going to appear. I'm going to respond to it. Okay. And then just wait for a few seconds. As you can see, the tape is imported with the barcode that we gave, which is test. Now I have a sample file that I want to backup. So let's go to backup and restore. Then one time backup, one time backup to tape. Then wait for a few moments. As you can see here, it says schedule is to run right now because we said only one time and then it will keep the data for four we weeks on the tape so now it's ready so i'm gonna go to edit and pick the file that i want to back up so i'm gonna go here and just go to my sample file which is this one and click on it and then click ok and then i'm ready to back up so I'm going to click on OK. And now we should see the tape moved from one of the slots to the tape drive. So if you go back to the storage and then go to all storage, you see the tape is moved to one of the tape drives for the backup operation. And if you go to job monitor, you can monitor the backup job. It is successfully done. So after a few seconds, the tape should disappear from the tape drive and go to the slots. Yeah, it should be in the slot now. Yes, it is here. Perfect. So now I'm going to eject the tape. So I'm going to go to export media, export media now. Then the message appearing, respond OK. I'm going to respond OK. So let's go back to the AWS console. I am now back to the AWS console. And if I go to the tapes, I would see my tape with the barcode test in the status of archived, meaning that it is in deep archive now. Let's say I want to retrieve the tape and load it back into my backup application. I would just go to actions, click on retrieve tape, select the gateway and select my gateway and then retrieve tape. As you can see now, the tape 
is in the retrieving status and since this operation takes within 12 hours to complete I already have my tape retrieved which is a test tape that I did a test backup operation on before and then I loaded it into the backup software on my Windows client as you can see here so if I go to storage I loaded it into the slot which is the same operation so I just right click and then import and then import media now and this tape would be ready for you to restore from but as a read only tape I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day